Hey guys, today we're going to talk about artwork and how artwork can affect the price of a card. And this is a recent example, but some more memorable examples was the counter spell from Jace vs. Chandra. It used to be worth $10, $15. I don't know what it's worth today. The card is not significantly better. It is just a piece of artwork of Jace. I've always felt that good cards with good artwork demand a premium and there's two reasons for this. Typically good artwork comes in dual decks and dual decks are something that are is incredibly interesting because there's not that many out there. So whenever you have a limited edition piece of artwork in a dual deck you have the potential to have something that will be extremely valuable later on. One of the cards, and the one that we'll talk about today, is Liliana, Demonic Tutor. Demonic Tutor is played in every single Black EDH deck. It's played in, you know, Vintage. It's an amazing card, one of the strongest cards in Magic the Gathering history. Now, it does have several reprints, including the most notable one being in Revised, where it was reprinted into Oblivion, and you also have the Judge Foil promo. So this card is non-foil, it cannot come in a foil, and it is $48 right now. Some of the things that you have to look at when you... Supply is very low. This card was reprinted in dual decks anthologies, but even then, supply of dual decks anthologies is relatively low. And the artwork is fantastic. So whenever you have a piece of artwork with one of the main planeswalkers, Lily, Ajani, but Ajani to a much lesser extent than either Lily or Jace, you look at the card and you say, huh, this is probably worth speculating on because there's not that many of them and it's a unique card. It does have to find a home in EDH, so something like Punishing Fire from the dual deck Knights versus Dragons is amazing. It's the artwork is fantastic, but it doesn't have a home. So there's no there's no market for it because there's no demand for it. Although the artwork, in my opinion, is far superior to the Battle for Zendikar, not Battle for Zendikar, original Zendikar artwork. So when you're picking these cards up, consider what are they played in? Are they played in ed so That's good. Consider what Planeswalker it's depicting as well as the supply and demand of the card. So overall, a very interesting spike and one that I'm sure will happen more often now. EDH is the format to spike at this current time. I don't really see any cards in Legacy go up. I don't see cards in Modern or Standard going up ever. They only go down. But EDH cards pop up, up, up. And this is pretty much strictly EDH. Um, if you're playing vintage, you probably have black border copies of it. Which this is a black border copy, by the way. So another good selling point. Overall, very interesting scenario where you have artwork directly affect the price of a card. And hopefully they do reprint Demonic Tutor uh, with maybe the similar artwork or the same artwork in a set. Um, I'm thinking Commander would be very good. A Commander deck of some type would be amazing and reduce its price. But until then, this is definitely a good speculation. It's very safe in my opinion. I would buy the original dual deck, which is still at $27 as of this recording. Anyway, guys, bye.